good morning all uh, today we are going to discuss about the one of the important question of uh, irda so insurance regulatory and development authority uh, so the insurance regulatory and development authority is the main organization and supervisory body that regulates the insurance sector in the country so in this irda it can be um, organizing and supervising body of insurance sector uh, in the country it sets uh, rules and regulations for the functioning of the insurance industry so it is also some rules and regulations uh, to the uh, insurance uh, its sole purpose is to in protect the interest of the policy holders and to develop the industry on the whole so it is also the purpose of uh, to protect the interest rate to, to the policy holders and uh, it can be uh, developed to the as a whole uh, the irda or irda regulatory issues uh, advises to insurance companies in case of changes to rules and regulations so it is also uh, advises to the some rules and regulations the regulator uh, guides the insurance uh, industry in promoting the efficiency the conduct insurance business policy in controlling the rates and other charges related to insurance so it can be promoting to the efficiency of the uh, in uh, insurance business and it is also controlling to the some charges and rates uh, of the insurance so establishment of irda uh, the government of india was the regulator for the insurance industry until in 2000 so it is also in until uh, the uh, until the insurance regulatory development uh, industry for 2000 however to institute the stand alone apex the body so it is also in a uh, apex the body of the uh, as a whole the irda was established in 2000 the following recommendation of the malhotra committee report in 1999 so it is also in established in year 2000 but it is also in common uh, recommendation of the uh, malhotra committee of uh, report in the in 1999 in august 2000 Uh, the irda in began accepting the applications for the registration through invites allowed companies from the other countries to invest up to 26 in the market so it is also accepting and allow to the uh, allow to the companies uh, uh, invest up to in 26 uh, in the market uh, so the irda has outlined in several rules and regulations under section 114a of the insurance act so it is also in outline services also it can be under section of the in uh, 114a the insurance act in uh, 1938 the regulation range from the registration of insurance companies operating in the country to so protecting policy holders interest so it can be operating to the protecting the policy holders and interest rates so the september 2020 there are in 31 general insurance companies and 24 life insurance companies who are registered with the, the irda so in this irda it can be uh, 31 the general insurance companies and 24 is the life insurance companies are registered under the in irda act so uh, it is also the introduction of the uh, irda and establishment of the uh, insurance regulatory and development authority so next two uh, objectives of in irda uh, so the main objectives of the insurance regulatory and development authority of india is enforce the provisions under insurance uh, insurance act so it is also some uh, 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 so the provisions under to the in insurance act uh, so it can be in a listed below to protect the interest and fair treatment of the policy holders so it can be protect to the uh, policy holders and fair to the in interest rates next one to regulate the insurance industry fairness and ensure the financial soundness of the industry so it is also in a fairness of the uh, insurance as well as it is also in financial soundness of the industry 
the regularly frame regulations ensure the industry operates without any uh, ambiguity so it is also in a regular to the in a uh, frame works uh, it can be involved to the in a objectives of in irda Uh, so next one the functions of in irda uh, so some important uh, points of in uh, irda listed below so it can be grant renew and modify suspend and cancel withdraw registration certificates of the insurance company so it is also uh, some uh, withdraw so, and uh, modify and uh, renew and grant to the certificates of the insurance company so protect the interest of the policy holders so it is also protection to the policy holders uh, as well as the settlement of claims so nomination by the policy holders uh, insurable interest uh, surrender value of the in policy and other terms and conditions of the policy so it is also uh, protecting to the some uh, uh insurable uh, policy holders so uh, so it is also in term conditions also in applicable to specify code of the in conduct the qualifications training for the intermediary or insurance agents so it is also some qualifications and code and it is also intermediary source of the agents uh, next one uh, the specify code of the conduct for the loss assessor and the surveyors so it can be surveyors to the uh, conduct to the in code living fees and charges carrying out the provisions act so it can be in uh, living charges and fees it can be under the provisions act of insurance undertaking the inspection calling of formation and investigation uh, including audit insurance companies intermediaries and other organizations associated with the insurance business so it can be involved to the inspection audit the records and um, intermediaries of the business Uh, so regulate and control the insurance rate so it can be controlling to the you know, interest interest uh, insurance rates in regular terms and conditions so it can be provided to the some terms and conditions advantages that may be in you know, offered by the insurance providers so it can be insurance it can be any advantages it can be offered by the insurance providers so it is also uh, introduction to the irda establishment of objectives and functions of irda thank you it is also in a very important question